Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Karen and this is my first ever YouTube video. I decided to post this video because I wanted to share some of the sewing projects I've made. Also, I would really appreciate if you can comment down below and give me any recommendations that you have for me to improve the quality of this video. There is a tag going around the sewing community. I've started seeing some since last week about the five handmade essential garments. Um, I believe this was started by Sarah from Naughty Gnome Crafts. I will link her channel below in the description box. So let's get started. The Classic Tea by Love Notions. I've made two of these already. One in the classic crew neck and the other in the v-neck, which is the one I am wearing today. You see? Love this fabric. Um, I made them both in a soft fabric that I bought from my local fabric store and um, they came out pretty good. It was just a nice uh, um, so pretty easy. It's a classic tee. Um, just as a little note, I wear more this one, the v-neck. I prefer the v-neck. I think I look better in a v-neck. Not to say anything wrong about the, there's nothing wrong with the crew neck, but it just, I prefer a v-neck. I think it looks better on me and my uh, bone structure. I think the v-neck looks better. To give a little bit more information, um, I started sewing because I was fed up with every time I would go out and buy a, just a basic t-shirt. It was uh, everything, every time I would buy something, the t-shirts were tiny, had tiny or tight sleeves. And it was very uncomfortable. Every time it's just... I was always pulling them down and trying to fix it somehow, but it could never get fixed because it was just small. I don't understand why these uh, uh, ready to wear t-shirts are made like that, especially for us ladies that we have a little thicker arm. I mean, my arm is not that thick, but I think I'm pretty sure it's some, most of us don't like our arms showing that much. Uh, I know I don't. I know my daughter doesn't either. Um, but it, it's hard. It's hard to find something that fit. They're always like all the way up here. And they're, there's a tiny, tiny little thing here. So from that, I decided to just, I'm like, you know what? I just, I will just start making my own shirts. And I started making the t-shirts. And now I can just make whatever size I want. This one here fits perfectly. Um, I think I added about an inch to this one from the pattern, um, but it fits well. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's just, it just fits and it's just perfect. So the Classic Tea by Love Notions is a plus. I'm sure I'll make more because I love a t-shirt. There's nothing, nothing wrong with a t-shirt. There's not too many t-shirts that you can have in your closet. The Taroko skirt. It's a basic skirt. And uh, what draw my attention to it was the um, color of the pattern, you know, the color of the skirt in the um, website. When I clicked on it, it was a bright yellow and the modeled she looked so pretty she was so pretty in that color whatever they did with the background I, I don't know what it was but it was so pretty so that draw my attention to it so i decided to buy the pattern and make the skirt it's a basic skirt it has two pockets up front and it's very it fits very well and uh it's just a basic pattern so when it was time for me to make my own i couldn't make myself, I couldn't bring myself to make it in a bright color like that. So I decided to make it in a light color denim twill fabrics. I bought it from uh, Hobby Lobby and uh, it came out really, really great. It was a basic pattern. It was, uh, the instructions were really good. And it, that was my first zipper that I made. And uh, I was a bit uh, afraid of doing it. 
but it came out really great. So I really do recommend this pattern and uh, it was pretty good. The Harper Cardigan by St. Clair Patterns. This was a free pattern, so that is a plus for me. Um, there was a, this was a pretty easy sew. I did it with a, a fabric that I purchased from Walmart. It was a knit fabric. It had stripes in it. It was a, a light bluish gray with white stripes. Um, and I tried to do the pattern match and it came out pretty good. I am very satisfied with the way it came out. Um, it does not have any buttons. So it's, uh, to me, it is pretty good because I have problems with making buttonholes. Every time I make buttonholes, I have to fiddle with my machine and try to do, uh, I have to test it and test it and test it. So this, this pattern was good because it did not have any of the buttons and it was a very light fabric. Um, I've worn it many times. I took it on a work trip that I had to go to Phoenix, Arizona last November, but over there, it wasn't too cold. I just took it because usually inside the hotels, it's cold. So I decided to bring the um, cardigan so I can just throw it on top. And that was it. That was just enough for that. And also I've uh, worn it many times here in um, South Florida last winter. It got a bit on the chilly side. It wasn't that cold. Um, but it's something that you can just throw it on top and just keep on wearing. You can keep it in the office because the office is usually, you know, the ACs are pretty cold here. Uh, it's just nice and easy, something to do. And, um, yeah, it was a pretty good uh, pattern. The Sunday Romper. Um, I've made two of these already. Um, the first one, um, it was just, a. I followed the pattern with the V-neck in the front and a V-neck in the back, and I made the skirt length. Um, but I had a problem with the back. It is always falling off. It's always moving this way because of the V in the back. So I find myself always, you know, having to bring it back here and it's always showing my uh my bra and i don't like that um but that was the only problem i had with that dress um, i made it in um double brush poly i purchased from joann's and uh, my husband gave me a couple of ideas he told me to see if i can put something here in the back to see if it would stay in place um, so hopefully i'll, I'll get to it one day and maybe put a string or put a some type of lace or something so we'll see we'll see what happens but i will wear it again the fabric pattern that i used it was a, such a pretty blue with some flowers in it and i love that fabric i really really love that fabric so i will keep wearing that dress even if it keeps coming down and also another thing that happens, it accentuates my bad posture because I have a little hump back here. A lot of time doing this instead of doing this. So yes, that's a problem that came up with that one dress. So hopefully I'll just fix it. I'll put something here in the back to keep it in place. And, and that's pretty much it. I have a little bit left over of that fabric. So that should be enough to make a string or something. Or maybe put a lace pattern. Not sure. Um, but that's the first one. The second one was also from a double brush poly that I purchased from Joann's in a dark blue. It is so pretty. Also with flowers. I don't know. I love flowers. What can I say? Um, <laughs> so I did that one. I did a little hack. I did a V front neck, but in the back, instead of doing the V in the back, I used the classic T back pattern uh, piece. So I did just a round up here, the round neck, and I changed the length of the uh, bind the um, the binding for the um, neck, and that was it. Everything else was the same. Um, I also added, I think I like, I think I added about one inch 
to the length of the skirt because I don't like anything short. I prefer my skirts to hit my knee and uh, I'm wearing it to work. So it has to be decent. And plus I, I'm not, I'm not into any short skirts or anything. So that one, it came out really good. I am sure I'll make more of these because I do have some more of double brushed polys in my stash. And I saw one that my daughter purchased the other day. And so I might make one of out of that fabric. So we'll see. But this is a big, big thumbs up for this pattern. A simple knit dress. You can just put it on, take it off, and easy. You don't even have to iron the thing. So that was good. The perfect cross body bag. Um, I decided to venture off a little bit from what I was making. Um, from all the t-shirts and the little dresses and the blouses that I made. So I decided to do something different. So I don't know why I put this in my mind. I wanted to make a purse. The purse that I was using before, it was a bit, it was getting a bit small. It would fit my phone, but in my wallet, but that was pretty much it. So I wanted to make something a little bit bigger. And uh, so I decided to make this another purse so I searched online I wanted to find a free pattern because I did not want to pay for anything so I started going I found a website by this lady it's the website is um, so can she and I, there's a bunch of bags there there's all different types of bags and they're pretty much free you can just download the pattern it has all the instructions to it and you can just do the bag I've made uh this bag out of quilting cotton that i purchased from walmart i purchased a blue dark i think it's a navy blue uh for the outside and a light almost white i would say it's white for the inside with some little things in it um and i've also used some continuous zippers that i had purchased from amazon in the past where i had made some um other projects um and uh, so it, it came out pretty good. I took my time making the bag. Um, the only thing I did not use for the bag was the uh, piping. I started making this on a Sunday and Sunday's Hobby Lobby is closed on Sundays. So I couldn't go there to buy piping. And my Joann's, it was a bit, it's a bit off from here. So I, was, uh, uh, I don't want to go out to buy anything. So I'm t I'll do the bag without the piping and it came out really good i am really happy with my bag um, it has an inside zipper it has an outside zipper in the front where i can put my cell phone that's one of the things that i wanted to make have something that i can put my cell phone easy and out in the back it also has a pocket and i've used some hidden magnets it was a feature of my old purse that i liked so I decided to do that. So I bought these magnets from Amazon and I just had to sew them in and make sure that they were aligned and it worked really, really well. And uh, the zippers came out pretty good. I followed the pattern to the T and that was a, um, a adventure that uh, came out really good. So I was really, really happy with my new purse. I have been using it since I made it and I use it every day. To go to work and if it's my wallet and if it's uh, um, other things that i need and uh, i'm very happy thanks for watching all the way into the end and if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you can subscribe and if you can share this uh, my new channel i would really appreciate you can leave any comments down below and i will try to uh, respond to you and uh, I'll see you next week when I post my new video. Bye-bye.